One of my many boat projects last year was to replace the holding tank in the boat. The reason is that it smelled awful. Upon inspection, we discovered there were no leaks in the tank or the fittings. The tank simply smelled because it was almost 40 years old. Since I was going to replace the tank, the one thing I wanted to do was increase the capacity. So I jumped online and started looking at tanks. The closest I could come for my space was an 18 to a 20 gallon tank. For me, that wasn't a big enough upgrade. So I decided to build my own tank. By making a custom tank, I could increase the size from 15 gallons to 30 gallons. The tank we built was made out of plywood, but lined with fiberglass cloth. So it was effectively a fiberglass tank. The idea came from my father, who built tanks for his boat over 25 years ago. The tanks he built are still going strong today. We're going to show you all the steps on how to build a tank, but let's talk about the general construction first. The tank is made with half-inch marine plywood. The inside parts of the tank are covered in fiberglass cloth. Before assembly, we also made our own threaded inserts for the fittings. The tank is simply put together with screws and thickened epoxy. Once the box is assembled, we apply epoxy fillets to all the inside corners. Then we add the top. Once the box is built, we also apply fiberglass cloth tape to all the outside corners. The combination of the epoxy fillet and the fiberglass tape makes a really strong box that's leak free. Now let's get started on how to build it. The first step is to rough cut all the plywood parts to size. We rough cut all of our panels just a little bit larger as we're gonna cut the panels to final size once the fiberglass cloth is applied. Once the panels are cut, we're ready to apply the fiberglass cloth. First, you'll need to saturate the plywood with epoxy. We just used a roller to spread it out evenly. Then we trimmed all the fiberglass cloth pieces to size. Apply the fiberglass cloth to the plywood panel. Once that's done, go ahead and put a little bit more epoxy on top to help saturate the fiberglass cloth. Again, we used a roller to spread it out evenly. Another thing that works really well is to use a rubber squeegee. This not only helps the cloth adhere to the plywood, but it also gets any wrinkles out. Once all the panels are covered in cloth, let them dry overnight. Then you can simply mark and cut them to final size. Once that's done, you have a complete set of fiberglass lined panels that you can make the box with. In the next video, we'll show you how to dry assemble the box and make threaded inserts for all the hose fittings.